Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more Signalis, which will hopefully pop. There it goes. Uh, I was about to say, we'll hopefully pop into the corner in a moment. And then we saw the Elster eyeball. Uh, so there it is. Hi, Bob. Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope that y'all are having a lovely week so far. Uh, it's been kind of a wild one here. The I mentioned this, I think, a little bit, maybe Monday. Uh, the weather has been... Uh, the, the weather outside was frightful. And it's going to be again tomorrow, which is going to be exciting. Um, but we missed it by one both days where like uh we lost power a bunch yesterday and it looks like we're probably going to to potentially lose it again tomorrow if it had slid over by 24 hours it would have endangered both streams which would have been but we lucked out and then it was a, a tuesday friday event and not a monday thursday event so i'm going to go ahead and call that a win uh, and say that, that this particular weather system is a fan of Signalis, just like I am, which makes me very happy. Oh, there we go. Nightbot has caught up. Wait a minute. Those are our jellyfish friends, just from above. That... That might have been... That might have been Outer Wilds. With Giants Deep. Maybe. Maybe. We have played more than one game with Jellyfish Friends, though, and I'm actually very glad to, to recollect that. Um, anyhow, uh, we're playing more Signalis tonight, another space game that um, hasn't been quite as chill an experience as Outer Wilds was, although Outer Wilds also got kind of spooky at times. Um, not not as It also got trippy, and also... Well, I don't want to talk more about Outer Wilds because I don't want to spoil it, but um, uh, this game is a trippy horror game uh, that I like a lot, and I learned something about it that I'll talk about a little bit later uh, in between streams that made me like it even more. Every time, I was going to say every time I play this game, this is my second time playing the game, so technically true, but like saying every time I play this game, I learned something new. I played it twice. That's not saying much, um, but I've, I've realized uh, between last stream... Yes, last just within the just from last stream, I uh, realized uh, uh, two things which kind of combined to to have told me something magnificent. I think about the the developers and their their mindset as a whole. That um, I already loved this game. If I didn't, that would it just it's kicked it up a whole other gear. We'll talk about that a little bit further down. Um, but let's talk. Let's talk just briefly about recap for anybody who missed uh, last stream. So we were we're down. We're trying to get into. We were trying to get into the mine. Was our our goal because we had been told by a star unit after we crash landed on this kind of icy moon. Assuming we're actually here. That's a conversation for another time. Um, but assuming we're actually here, we crash landed on the moon. Went inside, they call it a mine, went inside this facility, which we believe to be uh, S-23 Sierpinski on the moon of Leng, uh, which I was informed is apparently a Love Lovecraftian reference. Um, we met a, uh, a replica unit, uh, one of the star units, who told us that all of the gestalts, that is the bioorganic people, had been sent down to the mine. If the person we're looking for is alive, they'd be down there. So we headed further down. Um, we met Adler, who pushed us down an elevator shaft where we landed on... Oh, aha, uh -huh. wait, what did I see? <gasps> Thank you so much, Alice, for the raid. I really appreciate that. I hope Overwatch went well. Um, Adler shoved us down an elevator shaft. Our fall was broken by a big pile of other Elster units who apparently had been here before. That was a hell of a revelation. Uh, we made our way through the lower levels, learned a whole bunch about the other replica models, including how the nation uh, has been... Um, keeping their neural patterns stable through the use of um, a variety of things. The minas, they used like stuffed animals. Uh, the oilas, it's uh, music and dance because they're based on the neural pattern of a ballerina, apparently. Um, a whole bunch of, of things like that. Uh, so the image used in the Master Post is incredible. Thank you. I was so happy to find that. For those who aren't on Mastodon, um, I found an image that's based on the Desher Zone meme of the... Um, to just walk out you can leave but it's elster just like full sprinting um and it's like protectors replicas calibri if you're quick and it and you know wall of flesh and it's just nah 
uh, uh, I need to go find the, the the source again so I can go back to and edit the post and credit it. But it's just just top notch. Anyway, um, so we found a thank you so much, Mysterio, for the follow up. Mysterio five twelve. How apropos. Uh, so we uh, found a uh, musical key, which very appropriately was uh, Swan Lake. I'll get back to that in a second. Played that for the Falco unit we found, who was clutching an, an owl uh, box. That opened, sent us to a weird vision. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, of an island, because that's also important. Uh, and then we finally got into Adler's office, got the key, went down into the mine, um, met some tragic replicas. We don't need to go through all of that. These writers are beautifully cruel, and I love them. Um, and uh, then we... Where did we end up? Oh, right. Uh, then we jumped down a hole. We jumped down a series of holes, which really you can boil this game down to either jumping down or being pushed down a series of holes. Um and maybe maybe there's a larger message in that, but really most of what we've done since crash landing on wherever it is that we are is go down and through and be pushed in holes. Um, hey, Alice. So thank you again for the raid. Uh, so that's that's so we jumped down the biggest hole we've gotten to yet, uh, which um, the sent us into a place that the game's save file literally calls nowhere, and we don't have a map, so we're in nowhere. Uh, and now we've been walking around. Every time we go through a door that goes out the left side of the screen, we come in through the right on the next screen, which in an area that doesn't have an in-game map is driving me a little up the wall. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I, I can, I, I'll figure it out. Um, we, we haven't gotten lost yet. We also found a, we found another hole. It's a, it appears to be made of flesh. It is pulsing um it's pro silent hill 2 was also mostly going down holes you got a point and they the developers have mentioned that as one of their main like inspirations so i guess they found all of the leftover holes that weren't used um every hole's a goal yeah it's a, we're, work, we're we're working our way up to flesh hole i said last time that i was trying to put that one off until the last moment um we had i i, I made one last like uh effort to to be like okay well let's just, let's just go through this door and see what's on the other side of it on the other side of it was many infected angry replicas we died we died our first death um and that was where we we ended up we actually probably could have made it out of that alive but by then i had used all of our healing and a lot of our, our ammo and i just decided let's let's just let's just reset um so that was where we ended last stream so we're going to pick up from the end of our save file We'll try that again. Uh, we do need to go to those rooms, but I think we can do it more prudently this time. So that's where we're picking up. And then probably Flesh Hole. Um, so I mentioned at the start of all this that I realized something last stream and kind of between streams that I wanted to talk about. Hey, Al. Uh, and I want to get into that, but I want to get into the game before I start babbling about that, which means I want to talk about content warnings before I get into all of that. Um, they took all the holes that were here, but are gone now, right? All, it's like the donut holes thing, where, like, they weren't a thing, and then they were like, well, we could make those as a thing and sell those separately. That's kind of what this game has done. Thank you, Bob, for the quote. Uh, so, let me find the button with that on it. So, this game is a horror game, as I've mentioned. Uh, there is a lovely new, um developer uh, included option thank you rose engine that has reduced greatly the amount of kind of, of flickering effects but it has not removed them so this game does still have some strobing sequences and kind of quick transitions uh so i want to to forewarn on that front um as you can kind of see from this screen there are some cutscenes that still have intense direct eye contact with the camera um obviously i want to forewarn on that front more broadly speaking this game throughout is going to deal with body horror and psychological horror. Did I mention the flesh hole? Um, the flesh hole is on the lighter end. There are more horrible elements of body horror uh, that, that come into play here, and the psychological horror, with uh, particularly around like natures of identity and the loss thereof, um, uh, coming into play. Uh, it also deals with themes of death, 
and suicidal ideation, um, both in uh, visual expression, but also through the notes that we'll find people talking about it, um, as well as like depression and isolation. Uh, for, more for, for a more comprehensive list of warning, please see the doesthedogdie.com entry on Signalis, which is linked in our content warnings tag. Uh, that will have a, a, a pretty darn complete list of all of the uh, possible trigger and content warnings throughout the game. Um, folks have been diligent from what I've seen so far in uh, tagging those that are major spoilers for the ending of the game with major spoilers at the, the top of those entries so that you can navigate that list uh, safely as you need to for your preferences. Uh, all right. Thank you again, Bob. Uh, with that, I think we'll turn on this lovely octung sound and uh, get back into the game back into nowhere let's see if i remember yeah so we're already on caution because that just left us on caution yes okay we've got our little triangle that lets us know we've died All right, what did i leave us okay so i got we have shotgun we have revolver we know that there's a flare round on the table. A pistol with one bullet is not going to help us. Well, a pistol with four bullets is still not going to help us. Uh, let's see. We don't need the rings until we're back here. We don't even know what to do with the doll yet. We're grabbing a doll and a ring, so we're going to need two empty slots, ultimately. Hmm. <laughs> How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Thank you, Al. <laughs> so one of those rooms will need a flashlight to leave, which is fine. So we're, gonna, we're definitely going to get into at least one fight. We could just leave the flare behind. We could flare if we want to. Um, I think we'll rock up with this on the assumption that we're going to use at least 12 revolver bullets or enough that I don't mind ditching the remainder. We'll keep this. We can fire one flare, pick up the one on the table, and either keep it in the chamber or fire it to get through the remainder of that room. Okay, all right. I think that's the play. We haven't saved it, or we haven't changed anything since this. I almost pulled up my map before I remembered that it doesn't matter, because we don't have one. Uh, we've got friends right outside. We've got that, we've got that. Right. You guys are taken out. Uh, do I remember? I think it's upstairs? I think it's upstairs. Right, that's where the radiation warning is. Uh, and I think it was it over here? Right, Y'all are still on the floor. Good. Right, I think it's here. All right, triangle was one, two, six, seven, eight. There you go. And that brings us into this room full of friends. Uh, so I learned that this friend with the the kind of snoot, that's what storches turn into. So they're, because they're storks, that's a stork. So these are the oilas, I think, because they were like kitchen staff, so now they have cleavers and knives. Uh, I guess they're also like hospital staff. So yeah, they, they have knives regardless of their former employment. Uh, okay, there's the mina, so let's not get spotted by the person with the rail gun. That seems like a good idea. What's your route here? Yeah. Will you see me? You won't see me. Okay. Can I just snake this? Can I go out this way? I can. All right, new plan. Run. That ah, crap. Uh, shit. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Run, 
run, run, run faster. Alright, now then. Calibri, what do you got for me? Okay, get away. Okay. Yeah. There, we'll use one. What is this? Alright, that's fine. That went much better already. Let me catch up with y'all. Without the option to lower the flickering, this would be making me ill right now, so they have toned it down a lot. Don't know whether they were thinking putting every static overlay they could find on screen at once. Yeah. What do you think Ald what do you think Adler's were turning to if they were exposed? Eey. That's... Man, they're bad enough as is. Alright, so... Oh, there's more... There's more flesh floor under that floor. Alright, can we go this way? Yes, okay, we can go this way. Can we also go north? Yes, alright. Let's go north first. Oh, that's just... That's a loop? Oh, wait, never mind, that's where we came in. Can we go west? The problem with the doors doing that shit is that I can't remember where we came in and when we went out. Ah, okay. <gasps> Alina! Diary 4. How long has it been that I'm down here? How did I get here? Where is this place and why am I here? My memory feels so blurry as if I'd, as if I'd always been here forever. Even my hair is slowly turning white. Okay, it is Alina. Okay, all right. I remember my name and I remember my life. But I always remember a different name and a different life. And it feels like the line between her and me is blurring the longer I stay here. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe it's not her. Painting is destroyed beyond recognition. The plaque on the frame says metamorphosis. So this is a segue back to the thing I, I mentioned um, realizing between streams. So when we were in the the Euler dorm, the Eulers who are based on a neural pattern of a ballerina and are kind of kept stable by dance and song until the Storch got tired of hearing the same song over and over again and stabbed their record player. Um, when we restored the record and started playing it again, the song it was playing was from Swan Lake. Two things about Swan Lake, uh, in case you're not familiar with it. One of the plot points in Swan Lake is Odette, who is kind of the romantic lead of it, is turned into a swan, hence the name, uh, and at a, like, dance party later in the work, the prince with whom she's in love uh, is made to believe that Odette has been restored, but the woman that he meets, who is posing as Odette, is actually the evil count's daughter, Odile, who has been uh, magically made to look like Odette. Replicas. One woman made to look like another woman, fashioned in the likeness of another. Replicas, gestalts. That's one layer. Two layers. Swan Lake, as a play, as my partner reminded me, famously has multiple iterations. There are at least three, like, big ones that have different endings. There's a happy version. There's a very much not happy version. There's kind of a... It's just a very deeply Russian version. There are probably other ones. Iterations. Variations. There was a painting that we saw in one of the early cutscenes that struck a chord with me because I thought I recognized it. It's of a an island with these kind of high mountain walls, and then in the middle are these like uh, coniferous trees or uh, like uh, spruce trees. Um, and I remember looking at it, going, "I feel like I recognize that painting." I did. I had to go look it up because I couldn't remember the title because I haven't been an art history geek in a long time. It's a painting called Isle of the Dead 
which already has a pretty ominous name, but that's not really the that's not really that important. What is important? The painter of Isle of the Dead. Bulkin? Bul Bucklin? Bucklin? I can't remember exactly. The painter of Isle of the Dead made like four or five different versions of it. And they're each visually distinct. Like you wouldn't confuse one for the other, but they're all very much the same island, the same scene. And they're not like different styles. Like one isn't like Impressionist or Cubist or whatever. It's all just attempts to depict the same island. And if I remember right, the, the artist was like, this was an island I saw in a dream. So add that layer on top of it. Iterations, replicas, variations. When Konami and Capcom do a game and do Easter eggs, it's like fucking Mega Man is showing up somewhere or like Ryu from Street Fighter. When Rose Engine do a game, the Easter eggs are like fucking art history bullshit and, and bits of Swan Lake that are so deeply meta. And if you didn't know any of that, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't miss anything. All the messaging is still in the notes and whatnot in the game itself. But just knowing those little bits, knowing that the painting is Isle of the Dead and, and that there are different iterations of it, knowing that that song that's playing is Swan Lake, which has all these different versions and that the, the Odette and Odile Swaparoo is a plot point in the play and it's like... <clears throat> I like these devs a lot and their brains and it just, it just... It made me very happy, so I wanted to share all that with you and uh, that's uh, as I am just slowly uh, losing my mind. And now... Metamorphosis is here on the wall. Incense. Crap. We found an altar. Grenade shells? We get a grenade launcher? Wait. Do those go in this? Oh, man. All right, well, first of all, let's reload you. Oh, okay, we need to come back to this room if I can remember how to get here. Okay, well, we can't leave, so at least we got that. We'll definitely need the incense anyway, so when we come back, we can get the grenade shells. And we can get the shotgun shells on the way. Okay, okay, all right. Falco was getting Elster brain, but humans got Alina brain, right? So there's, there's, so Alina is potentially turning into the white-haired woman, whoever that is, which is why we've been finding the stuff from her down here. And there's the, the Latter-day Saints Mormon version. <laughs> oh. All right, if y'all would kindly just stay put, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll also have to come here for the ring. Hello? What the hell? When I look at it, my head hurts. Yeah, d d I'm feeling that. Oh, is this where our plate goes? Yes, so this is where our plate of eternity goes. And there are five more. Neat. Also a thing with the Soviet Union playing Swan Lake when ship was going down and they wanted to fill air explaining what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Why do they love the dead so much? Ah, <laughs> <gasps> okay. All right, we've unlocked a one-way door. Good, good, good. Love this. Love this for us. Oh, hey, look. It's our friend, the Flesh Hole. Everyone loves Flesh Hole. All right, and there's the radio room, which means I think save room is right down here. Okay, this actually is really, really good. All right, that's... That's perfectly timed. That's really, really good. Okay, so... You go here. We're going to drop you off. You guys combine. Come back here. And you. Yes. Oh, it's a little, it's a little Mina. It's a little Mina doll. Look at he's got the little face. They're so cute. Large hollow wooden doll that can be opened. It has a hexagonal base. The small doll is inside. He's cute. It rattles around when I shake it. Adorable. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and store that. Everything else in here is fine. Could grab some thermite, maybe not a bad idea. Our 
shotgun shells on the way. Don't hate that. Ugh, so many options. Okay, let's grab these in the meantime. Let's go, let's go revolver only. Let's go revolver only. Because there's just, just so much stuff we need to grab. We just need inventory space right now. There we go. I kind of want to thermite those two, but maybe that's overkill. Hang on, I gotta pull this up. This is the end of Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> right, the, the six coins. <laughs> Don't know why I'm... Oh, hang on. Grab this and immediately use it. There. Oh, I should have brought our hex key. Well, oh, that's all right. Use that later. Please stay on the ground. Shit. All right, we'll leave the shotgun shells because we don't have the shotgun right now. Right. This way. Let's grab these. Does that leave us with one? No, that leaves us with none. Okay. None inventory with left beef. Okay. Right, that's this room clear, at least. You come over here. Perfect. Thank you. Reload. And out. Oh. Swan Lake was also used by the Soviet Union. Yeah, uh, Al was saying the same thing. Saying like that something very bad happened, such as a leader dying. Yeah. Yeah, so many layers. Oh, this way. Do I remember where the altar was? It's definitely not in there. All right, this time we're bringing the thermite, because clearly we're going to have to do this route a few times. <laughs> Until I remember where those are. Yeah, I'll drop you off until I find this. Grab two. Yeah. Maybe it's overkill, but we'll go ahead and save. Nothing went bad, so... There. Maybe we'll bring the grenade shells into the room with all the people. <laughs> Thermite quick. There we go. Now this hallway is clear, so if we get to Flesh Pit, we're safe. What a sentence. Forgot to bring the hex key again. That's fine. It's fine. It's right there. We have a safe path all the way from the the thing to there, so. We need. What do we need? Let's see if we can do this. Which way are you looking? Perfect. Okay. So we don't need to go in the middle anymore, so maybe we can sneak this. Alright, last time out I turned on my flashlight and we immediately aggroed the whole room. What if I just... Damn. Alright. I was like, what if we just used our, our knowledge from the past? We cannot do that. Alright. We can do this. This is probably going to aggro everybody immediately. Yep. Now we leave. Ow! They got that reach. Just keep running. Just keep running. Perfect. Always had it, never didn't have it. All right. Uh, All right. No problem. No problem. We took one hit, and we have the ring. All right. As long as we're heading back to the safe, we'll get some ammunition. Lovely. Back we go. Let's find that altar. 
here. Every time. I was gonna say that the um, the like tubes of flesh on the wall make it look like a pipe organ, but then I realized the double meaning of organ in that context, and thought maybe maybe better not to say it. <laughs> and then I explained it anyway, which kind of defeats the purpose. All right, I think we're one ring short. We had we had three ring clues. All right, ammo. Oh, we. I think that's right. Do we have that? Not you. Here. On the first day, she was crowned, right? We don't have, like, the, the royal thing. We have the wedding ring and the serpent ring. There's a third ring. Go ahead and I'll just keep staggering our saves here. That seems prudent. All right. Uh, let's... Take the incense with us. There's so much stuff here. Grab you. And we'll head elsewhere. Let's head upstairs. I think the altar might have been on this level somewhere. Here? Definitely wasn't there. That's where we fell down initially. Aha! Okay. Uh huh. Incense. Okay. Oh! Plate of Love. I love Plate of Love. The surface appears to be made of smooth, polished black marble or granite, but there is something soft and wet inside. Which I think is the same thing that the Plate of Eternity says. I didn't like it anymore the other time. Go ahead and grab the auto-injector while we're here. Alright, so we have two out of six. The doll has a hex base. It may be... We may have three out of six. Why did I go this way? Run. Have you tried jumping in the flesh hole? No, but I think we're at that point. I think we have finally exhausted everything else. The auto injector away. All right, we've got we've got three repair spray plus repair spray pluses. We've got a lot of revolver ammo. Uh, let's see. Could bring the shotgun. We've got a lot of shotgun. <laughs> we've got a lot of shotgun. Uh, could bring the flare gun. I'm going to test something for... Just bear with me a second. If we do... Got it. Okay. So yes, the grenade shells go in the flare gun. They go in the square hole. All right. Uh, where's the other one? There. Oh, right. Of course, it's a flare... It's a single chamber thing. It can only hold one at a time. Okay, so we could bring our pistol-sized grenade launcher with us, and then we're definitely covered whatever we're dealing with. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know how scared I am. Revolver's pretty potent. Uh, let's bring this, and that way we've got one inventory slot, we've got the revolver, we've got, the, yeah, okay, 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 this is, this is funny. This is funny. There. Nope, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. All right, everyone, it's time. I hope you're all prepared. Make sure the ads weren't about to run. I wouldn't want anyone to miss this. Oh, mighty Salak! Oh, it's just the worst. All right. There's a gaping hole in the pulsing flesh. Thanks, Elster. Put that together all by myself. 
Drop down? Yeah, I guess we are. Oh. Oh, Isa. Run, run, Isa. Isa, run. Isa, run. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Uh, okay. Rope a dope. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. Missed it, missed it. Oh god. They lunge. Reload. Run, run, run. Yes, maybe, maybe. Okay, that staggered them for a moment. Yes. Oh god, keep running, keep running. Hoop, 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 hoop. <laughs> oh god. Thank you, Isa. Are you okay? She won't wake up. Oh no. The rifle Issa was carrying. It's chambered in some sort of ridiculous anti armor cartridge. Oh. No wonder the recoil knocked her out. Okay, knocked her out. Knocked her out is okay. Knockout is fine. I'll take knockout. She's here in a safe room. It's literally called a safe room for a reason. Alright, so we've got ammo for it. I'm assuming that means eventually we'll... It will be our rifle. Uh, grab these, grab these. Oh, we can't put the revolver away. Shotgun, there. And load. I don't know that the pistol is necessarily worth it at the moment. Let's put you away for now. Thermite? Don't mind if I do. I should probably be using more thermite, honestly. Go ahead and save. Keeping whole and pulsing flesh was my nickname in college. Proud of you, honestly. Did she lose her contact? Oh, yeah, I think she was spending the whole time reloading. <laughs> Should have brought the grenade launcher. We did. I just, I was about to switch to it. And luckily uh, we were able to save it at the last moment there. Oh boy. Oh, <sighs> all right. Um, okay, let's put this thermite away. Paris spray, stun prod, shotgun. Do we have any more? We have no more revolver rounds. Okay, so let's grab you and you. And we will reload this. South first. Okay. All right. This is fine. Water coming down the walls. Totally normal. We have a map. I don't know why I thought there would be one. There was something earlier about the flashlight, like, revealing stuff. Oh, friend. Friend? I see legs. I think those are legs. You know what? Maybe we don't want to see things so well. Let's turn the flashlight off. Ooh, is this another... Alright. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Hell yeah. No, I was trying to... The TV. There. The scary thing what saves our thing. 
Thank you, Al. <laughs> Definitely water and not a secret third thing. <laughs> Hi, friend. How are we doing on health? Oh, we didn't get hit. Hell yeah. Why am I doing way better at the boss battles than at the just, like, walking around stuff? Just going back to these. It's fine. We'll come back for those. We don't even have the rifle yet. What is this all about? Well, it doesn't matter. We don't have... Okay, so we need... Two? Here? Alright, let's just go ahead and... Back up into the crates. There you go. This. Right. Gotta go up to go down. And this, this. Is this a shotgun puzzle? Am I remembering this right? Let's find out. Because it looks like a counterweight. Right, we need an extra... We need a free inventory slot before we start. Nuts. Didn't think this through. Alright, one more time. I think what we're going to have to do is put the doll... That's why the doll has a hex base. Hip. But this should be the last time we have to go through here, I believe. There. There. And, and then. Doll. Ah. Doll isn't heavy enough. Okay, never mind. Is there a third? Is there a third nest to the nesting doll, maybe? Is it rule of three? Alright, so put the doll away. We get our shotgun rounds. And eh, back up. This way. Woo. Hi. How's everyone? How are we doing? Pretty sure that Storches. I actually don't know if Storches can see. Do we think they smell? Oh, can you add the plate to the doll? I did not try that. I mean, we need we need to take the plate with us, so I don't know if that helps. The moment I attack you, the sword just gonna see us. Let's go here. Take you first. All right. so much repair patch. Let's actually put you away. Oh, it wasn't so much. I, I confused this rectangle for that rectangle. Never mind. Still, we're going to hang on to just that one. And we're going to put you away. Yeah. All right. We are shotgun only. I assume once we clear this place out, uh, Issa will wake up. Let's see if we can clear the end of this aisle and then we'll take our break. What's up here? Ooh, a flare thing? Flare shells? 
A ladder? Ooh! I put the wrong thing away. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. That unlocks our way back. Just y'all just stay there. And back through. And doot. And doot. Over here. You know what? On second thought. On that note. <laughs> let's go ahead and hop to the break now and just leave Elster here chilling with Issa. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, step away for just a few minutes. Uh, go ahead and run some ads. Uh, block them if you got them. Uh, step up, stretch, get a drink, whatever you need to do to take care of yourselves. Uh, and we'll be back here in just a few minutes with um, the... We've gone down the flesh hole and now it's just, just all flesh all the time. Uh, yeah, we got a, we have we have a doll to finish, I guess. Um, but more on that in, in just a few minutes. See y'all then. And it's flesh time. That's a terrible segue back in, but nevertheless. All right, we have seven shotgun ammo. Is that enough? We do have enough stun baton, so maybe maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know that it's worth hanging on to a flare gun with one bullet in it. Yeah, I think I think we'll just hang on to the the stun batons as our like one time use get out of danger free card. Hey, Bedroad. 
I was going to ask if I missed much, but I don't know what's going on in the first place. Valid. Oh, hey, look, stun baton. And yep, here we go. Ah. The room in which they make the flesh. Good. Good. Regent Spring on the first day she was crowned. Got it. Okay. Well, now we have the set. Uh, we still got room for one more thing? I don't know that examining any of these lumps. No, okay, good. <laughs> the meat chamber! Okay, that's definitely fiber optic stuff. Yeah, there we go, okay. That's death. I don't like these sounds that I'm hearing. That's death. I think it's just this way? It looks like it's just this way. Rusted key! Love a rusted key. Is it actually rust, or are we just calling it rust because we don't want to think about what it actually is? What is this? The plate. We found the plate of flesh. Well, we don't need one repair patch that badly. Yep, yep, nope. The thing. The lid. All right, so we have three plates, and we know where the fourth is. That's a good sign. We have to go all the way back out. That makes sense, because if there were a way straight here, it would go, it would go both ways. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's mean. There's no way to that repair spray. That's just that's just bait. Rude. the baton back. Shit, shit. Alright, All right, so the doll is somewhere else. I guess it's probably up on a different floor. Well, hang on. Changed my mind. We're gonna use you to get past that person that we just saw wake up. There. Oh yeah, what does that key go to? I don't think I found a locked door yet. Have I? I don't remember a locked door. Eternity flesh. Rough, heavy, ancient looking key covered. Let's grab this. I don't remember a locked door. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Boy, it would be nice to have a map. Uh. There. <laughs> that bait. <laughs> right, we went in here before and it, it seemed like there was nothing. Oh, this was the boss room. That's why I think there was nothing. That's why, that's, I, now I understand why I'm confused. What was in here? That's the way to the, um, where the other plate is. Okay, all right. Now I understand where everything is. I have to get past you. But I also needed to use a stun rod, so... Good balance. We have the rusted key. There was one door down here that was red, I think? Red doors don't open with keys, only yellow doors do. Okay, so up we go. This was just a one-way door, that's fine. We can go anywhere. Be anyone. Okay. Ok. 
Got everything we need from here. They don't expect you to draw a map, do they? I don't know. That's where we landed. Hang on a second. Have I actually properly looked around this space? Yes, okay. And this space is fine, okay. So that room is fine. That leads to there. So we can go up and down as we please. This is back to this room. Did he leave anything over here? We haven't been back here in a while. Sure. The hell are you? Small bottle filled with a clear liquid. The content smell. Ammonia! Smelling salts! Let's go wake up Isa. The Dreamer. A prison from which the only escape is death. Deep below, the Dreamer floats in the sea of flesh. You don't say. The red eye birthing a new world from their dream for eternity, and each time the dreamer turns over in their sleep, the world turns over too until only flesh remains. Uh huh. Okay. Damn it. I was hoping you wouldn't turn around. <laughs> Alright. Uh, from there. To here. To here. To here. Y'all just stay unconscious, please. Isa. Ugh. Ah, it's you. Esther, right? Thank you for your help. Thank you. Crack shot, by the way. D did you find who you were looking for yet? Ah, that rifle. I don't think I want to use it again. You can have it. I'm so exhausted. I feel sick. Oh, that... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't like that. It's hard to breathe. The hair in this place feels thick. Like you could bite it. Can we describe it any other way? It's like there's fog inside my head. I think I need a moment to rest. Welp! On the plus side, we have rifle now. Um... Let's call that a wind. I can bite air. Chewing is the hard part. <laughs> yeah, you're not special. <laughs> hmm. This is almost as creepy as the rare dimension in Fear and Hunger 2. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so it comes with two bullets, and we have four more. Large board, double barreled hunting rifle, fires armor piercing 16mm Nitro Express ammo. Recoil feels strong enough to break your shoulder. We still don't know what this goes to. Alright, let's put that away for now. Yeah, we have more ammo for this than we have basically anything else, so... Yeah, right. Wrong way. This way first. Damn, this way first. Is there something else in the room with the serpent string that I left behind, maybe? Oh, hang on. Actually, we've got all the rings. Maybe that's what we should do next. Let's see what that unlocks. How do I get back there? Not this way. Not this way. Never this way. I think it's 
Then? No. That leads to... This is where we started. That's the altar. So yeah, we never need this room again. Okay. Just updating my mental map now. Okay, so then... This way. I think there's a friend in here now. It might be able to... Nope! Nope! Effective. Right, we can't open can't open red doors with keys, it's only yellow. That's the rusted key door. Okay, got it, we found it. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, so. Doot. Rusted key. Rusted key. God, we're gonna need to bring three rings with us to the Empress room. Okay, that's fine, we can do that. Not yet. Let's see what else is in here. Aha! Okay. Now we have all the rings. Hopefully that's all the dolls. Grenade shells. Like grenade shells. Okay. Diamond. Diamond was... One, three, four, five, seven, nine. Okay. All right. All right. We. This is lots of progress. I like this. I like progress. I also like ammo directly across from a save file with... Uh, two friends that we've already thermited. That was a good choice. It was a very good use of thermite. Alright, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that, do that. Grab the other rest of the doll. Doot! So that we can combine them here. It doesn't look much different, but maybe the other one is just very heavy. Alright, so we'll ditch that. Back here. Out here. Back across the hall. <laughs> Revolver ammo. Grenade shells. Do you like the grenade shells? Won't lie. As long as we're here. I keep trying to play Fear and Hunger, and it's so well thick. That's a beautiful way to describe that game, uh, because uh, I feel very similarly. We've been running around without healing. That's bad. Because, um, yeah, I've also... I, I've been watching uh, Tide Tuesday um, do streams of Fear and Hunger 2, and I'm having more fun watching someone else play it than trying to get into it myself, because I find a lot of it impenetrable. I'm picking up more from watching someone else play it, but I... I've occasionally entertained the idea of getting into it, and every time I even, like, start down that path mentally, it just is too much. Alright, let's go ahead and save first. Because we do not have much in the way of ammo here. Oh, we've got stun batons. That's fine. I think there are only two oilers between us and the puzzle anyway, so we're Probably okay. Probably fine. We'll just fall into line behind them. It'll be like Cloud in FF7 in the parade sequence. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just do the commands just like them, and they'll think that we're one of them until they turn around. Or it won't work like that at all. Okay, so... Let me read the note again. On the first day she was crowned, the longest day nothing was done, that's middle finger. Next day she was wed. The last day she took her life. Serpent ring took her life. Regent ring is crowned. Okay, so index is regent. Nothing on the middle. Wedding ring goes on the wet on the ring finger. Go figure. Separate ring goes on the pinky. I'm assuming. It could go in the exact opposite order, but that seems backwards to me. Regent's ring. Okay. Wedding ring. Is 
or print frame? Hooray! It's a plate. Got it. Plate of knowledge. Anything else? No, I'm Let's just go. Let's, let's just go. Let's just go. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just leave. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, this way. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it when they. We don't have to ruin anybody's day. They don't even notice. All right. We need six plates. We found one, two, three, four. We have a doll to get number five. I'm doing great. What's going to happen when we get all six plates? Probably something fine. It, uh, it may be a party. You know, it's, it could be. You don't know. I mean, maybe you do know. I don't know your life. Uh, get the revolver ammo. Let's get the shotgun rounds. Let's get the revolver ammo and the revolver here. And we'll do that. Yeah, okay. That's what we'll do. And... Yeah, yeah. Everyone gets ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's even... honestly, ice cream party sounds like like the way to end it. You know. Is this another freaking? Here it is. Okay. Yeah, come come find me through the monofilament. See what happens to you. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, the R is in the floor. Okay, I shouldn't have been talking shit. That's on me. Okay, but that actually worked out great. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, right, because I, I have flashlight equipped. I was like, why is it not stun batoning? It's not stun batoning because I don't have stun baton on. Um, all right, well, while we're in here, reload that and use this to start the healing process. And just outrun them. No more spawn. I appreciate that they don't go back into the floor panels to get around the uh, monofilament wire. That's That's appreciated. Whew. All right, I think that's number five. What have, what have we got here? Eternity, sacrifice, flesh, love, knowledge. This is fine. Right, let's go ahead and re-equip these. Stairs, go. Oop. We can just jump down the pit, right? Whee! No reason to be scared of the pit anymore. Isa? Where'd you go? Maybe it's better if we don't know. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better. Surely, this is enough weight. You're going to carry that weight. Alright. Now, this time... Weight of balance, of course. Uh-huh. 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 And... Perfect. Okay, that was enough. Rule of three. I should have guessed. This time we're just gonna run because I don't care if you wake up, I'm never coming back here. All right. Now, does Andy remember where in this place the weird pipe wall of um, the, the pillar is? Let's find out. Was it 
Was it down here? I don't think it was down here. I think it was one level up. I think it's up here. I think it's this level somewhere. Where on this level? Who knows? We go here. We go past y'all. Quietly. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes, okay. From here gets us north of the flesh pit. Got it. Okay, so we come back down. So the problem with the rule of six is that we have to empty our entire inventory in order to activate this puzzle. I guess technically we could like do them one at a time, but what's the fun in that? Issa is making the cake for the party. First she will be baked, and then there will be cake. Well, if Issa's making the cake, then we should bring the plates. That seems only fair. Huh? Eternity, knowledge. Flesh, love, balance, and we end on sacrifice. Oh, now it's a door. Neat. Let's, uh, let's head on back. Hang on. Have I seen those three stars before? Where are you at? Where are you at? Not there. Overview. Not that one. The three stars on the pillar are the same three stars on the Calibri's forehead. Is that the symbol of bioresonance? Does Falka have one? Where's Falka? Yeah, you can see it a little bit under the swoop of hair. The three stars. Yeah, and you can see it on the, the schematic on the right. The three stars mean bioresonance. Well, I learned something. All right, so we'll grab three of these. Uh, let's grab that rifle. I think that's the smart play. And shotgun as a sidearm, and that leaves us with one slot. Perfect. Because who knows what's on the other side of that door, but it's probably... I know we joked. I don't think it's a party. Out we go. This is a weird adaptation of Sneetches. With the stars upon thars. <laughs> ah, goodbye, Flesh Pit. You, uh, you were great. You're everything we hoped and dreamed. It's the hole we came down. But, but now Flesh. Oh, hi. Interface, you, you're right there, bud. That's a need key. Climb up, need key. Yeah, because the yellow is the. Oh! Damn, Issa got you good, huh, bud? Got right in the face. It's impossible to move on. I've been here so many times, but I've never returned. The commander never spoke about what she saw out there. I'm sure whatever it was, it was, it was what made her fall sick. Something about her changed when she returned. She was no longer our beloved leader, Falca. What waits beyond the threshold? It doesn't matter. An end? Ikvarta. 
richtig fett. Beyond the gate, emptiness. dead the different versions come closer oh oh no we're going in reverse Say Ariana? Be not afraid. That was the photograph. That was not the white hair girl, that was us. Remember our promise. Did she just die right in front of her goal? Yeah, trying to reopen the Penrose capsule. Um, except that's not the end. This is a game about loops. Every previous time this button has said, continue. Now it says, begin. The Penrose capsule was the um, long-distance shuttle that Elster and her gestalt were originally 
sent on to go to the far reaches of space to find potentially like habitable or valuable uh, uh, rocks somewhere out in space. And so it was also the ship that crash landed on wherever we started. But now, we wake up. Playing in this game a little bit too long because I saw the open floor panel and immediately instinctively I was worried about an aura climbing out of it. Just flinched a little tiny bit. A lot of games about loops happening in the truck community. Yeah. Yeah. I like loops. The lower deck heating system has been acting up a bit lately. I don't need to fix this right now. I like that we've got you can it's hard to see, I guess, a little bit in the pixel art, but we've got a little hat. Didn't have our little hat before. Cargo hold unpressurized. Do not enter during flight. Yeah, that's... Uh, don't do that. All right, those are both cargo holds. Cargo. We got fan. Remarkably low-tech solution for air circulation in space, but you know what? Operation Penrose. Uh, Pride of the Yusan Nation. Oh, Yusan is the, just the name of the nation. I missed that earlier. Okay. Uh, Pride of the Yusan Nation space vessel type Penrose, People's Navy. Oh, Calibri. It, that's just a cabbage. It's a doodle. Oh, Calibri. Cauliflower. Also what they've been turning into. Let's turn observation window. Nothing to see but stars. We're back out in space. Is this a flashback? Great question! It's locked, it requires a key. Oh, hey, a painting. Three guesses what painting this is. The painting Ariane has been working on recently. A serene coastline. Ariane's notes. Running out of ochre paint. Elster laughed when I told her. Now I have to mix it myself. So annoying. I still haven't read a whole bunch of those manuals. I feel like they gave me enough to read for the rest of my life. Most of them are boring technical manuals anyway. They could have given us more films to watch instead. Half of them are war films, which Elster doesn't like, and the other half are kitschy propaganda dramas. Space. Final front. Sorry. Landing and docking assist monitor. We won't need this for a while. Port controls panel. Everything is in order. Last time we saw this, it was after the crash and everything was busted. Ship's control panel. All systems nominal. Altimeter. Which probably doesn't matter much in space, I guess. Starboard controls panel. All systems green. Neat. I don't need to use this right now. All right. Everything's fine here. Out we go. Out there. Good adventurers go left. Penrose Emergency Procedures Appendix H. 
Based on data from previous long-range survey missions, salvaging the replica technician for sustenance is not recommended. I'm sorry. Tap the brakes. Salvaging the replica, replica technician for sustenance. Eating your replica is not recommended. Good. That's good to know. Thank you. A plus. Appreciate that. Unfortunately, we just learned Ariana has not been reading the manuals. We should maybe put this on her nightstand. Even in extreme circumstances, replica bio components can cause various health problems when ingested. It may look and taste like ordinary flesh. <laughs> Why do you know that? But bioengineered tissue may cause more harm than good when eaten in an emergency situation. Oxidant may look like blood, but it is indigestible to gestalts. It should also be considered that pioneer replicas statistically have 860% greater survivability than gestalt pioneer officers. For the sake of a successful mission, keeping the replica operational rather than prolonging your own suffering may be preferable. Horrifying! Thank you! Oh, dot matrix printers, huh? Fenro's briefing, phase two. Start of decrypted transmission. By our calculations, 1,500 cycles of mission time will have passed when you receive this message. Congratulations, comrade! By now you should have become fully acclimatized to your new life on board your ship. As you approach the Oort Cloud, ooh, I love the Oort Cloud, uh, your search for new worlds will begin. Utilizing the long-range sensors, you will scout for valuable resources, habitable worlds, or signs of alien life. Remember to rely on your replica to assist you in maintaining your vessel. We all wish you great success in your mission. End of decrypted transmission. Adorable. What's over here? Medical diagnostic computer. Ariane's next checkup isn't for another few cycles. Is there a spot we can save in here? Probably not. That would be silly. Reactor's coolant injection system. No leaks detected. I want to do that no lies detected meme, but with leaks. Scheduled maintenance checklist. Inspect LST replica calibration storage unit. Oh, it's checking these off as we're doing them. Neat. Uh, inspect flight controls. We did that. Inspect coolant injection pipes. We just did that. Inspect mainframe access terminal in the mess hall. Inspect the emergency cryogenic hibernation unit. That seems important. Report to Gestalt Scout Officer. All right. Well, I guess that's what we'll open with next time. Uh, we're uh, kind of running up on the edge of our time here. But uh, yeah, so... Uh, we're, uh, I guess we've sort of reset, or or this is a different Elster, or time has gone back, or we're having a flashback, or we're dreaming. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, Denise, you're here just in time for everything to be totally fine and normal again. We're, we're in space, and we have a hat, and we're doing our scheduled maintenance routine tasks, and so far, all systems green. Um, we'll find out what that's all about next time thank you all so much for coming uh we'll pick up with more of this uh monday night uh 8 p.m eastern time be sure to check out our full schedule at schedule.truck.community that has what our whole uh stream team is up to all week long we have uh streams every night of the week often multiple streams a day uh with that whole schedule we'll let you know who's streaming what uh on what days, at what times, with links to their respective channels, the things that a schedule is very good at doing, I think. Uh, and our schedule is, is, is sure is a schedule. I don't know where that sentence was meant to go when I started it, but we're here now and at the end, uh, and also at the end of the stream. So thank you all again for sticking it out as, uh, as this game got to an end, but not the end. Uh, and I don't even know that we'll end it on Monday necessarily, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. Uh, so I hope to see you all for that. But in the meantime, thank you, Bob and Bad Road, for having the, the same thought. I do appreciate uh, that that one. Uh, I I don't mind actually having that one on there twice because it's just it's it's uh, not without you. Heck, uh, is a very important uh, credit to Girl Genius on that one. Anyway, um, in just a little bit here, uh, fingers crossed, and assuming that she's up for it, uh, we'll be tossing a raid over to twitch.tv slash squirrelily where Alice is going to be streaming more World's End Club, I think is the name of it, which is a uh, delightfully quirky uh, game that I actually hadn't heard of before she started streaming it, uh, that has some... I I always feel bad at making comparisons. It did it did kind of give me Danganronpa vibes, but, like, in a less skeevy way, uh, and it just immediately more charming to me. I don't want to, like, shit on other games, but 
World's End Club seems great, and Alice is definitely great, so I definitely recommend checking that out, and if you're interested in such things, hang out and chat, and the raid will take you there automatically, uh, as one of the features of Twitch that actually does work. That I will shit on, uh, Twitch being the thing. Um, thank you, I thank you all so much for uh, coming and hanging out. I continue to love this game, um, and we're out of the flesh zone at least for now. So that's that's great. And now we're back on we're back on the Penrose five twelve shuttle, and everything seems to be fine. So hey, maybe it'll maybe it'll maybe it'll remain fine. I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, but more more on that next time. Uh, and yeah, and I hope to see you all then. Good night, everybody.